This exercise is used to actively develop lumbopelvic stability through the gluteus maximus muscles and simultaneously create inhibition of tight low back extensors, tight hip flexor muscles, and tight hip internal rotators. This will give you better control and create more freedom in the hip and the spine. Go ahead and lie down on your back with your feet placed on a two inch block. Place a band just below your kneecaps. Start with your knees together and place your arms at your side with your elbows bent to a 90 degree angle. Inhale through your nose as you turn your knees and hands out to the side, keeping your elbows at your side. Exhale through your mouth as you bring your knees and hands back together slowly. At the end of the exhalation, press through your heels to perform a pelvic tilt so that your tailbone is raised slightly off the mat. Bring awareness here, taking care to not use your abdominals and to relax the low back. Feel your low back flatten into the mat as you do so. Continue the sequence of inhalation while bringing your hands and knees out, followed by exhalation, bringing your hands and knees in. Perform a pelvic tilt at the end of each exhalation and notice the low back lengthening and relaxing. Concentrate on filling your belly just a bit more with each inhalation, using your diaphragm and not your neck or your chest. Relax and repeat this sequence about 15 times and be sure to perform this exercise twice a day. Do not perform if painful. Are you wondering how you can create better control and more freedom in the low back and the hips? With an accurate diagnosis, targeted corrective strategy, and consistency week to week, over time this can be corrected. Click the schedule button and let's make sure you're not wasting your time practicing exercises that may not help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you here again soon.